front of us each and every day, that, that planning report, that design, that PowerPoint presentation, that technical paper is part of a infrastructure that will live for generations and it must remain safe. We, as the individuals who have a touch to these projects, have a sacred trust, a responsibility to not only build these projects that serve the people of our countries, but to protect those same people, especially those people that are directly impacted by our projects, and I mean those people that live immediately around our projects and downstream. We are all here to be better designers, planners, builders, planners, and keep our projects safe and keep the people safe. Because you are here, because you have taken the time from your schedules to be here, I know that you are passionate about your profession. You are passionate to design and to build these great dams and hydropower monuments of our infrastructure. We all want to build projects, but to, we have to build them safe, and safety must always be our priority. So, this is our responsibility and indeed our pledge. To protect the safety of people, our families, our friends, our fellow citizens, even while we serve those people, to provide them with the benefits of water and power and flood protection. We must protect them from the infrastructure and keep these safe. And to do that, we must have an individual commitment, each one of us, because the consequences of failure are just not acceptable. You have come here these next two days to learn, and so I encourage you to be present, to, to learn about what you see here, and to, <clears throat> and to find something new in what you learn. And when you leave here, and when you go back to your job, or your countries, or what you do every day, and look at that next drawing, or report, or blueprint in front of you, to remember that what you see and what you do, to have that responsibility to bring the safety as the top priority, to be humble in what you know about the projects, to understand what you know and what you don't know, and what you don't know, try to learn. This is a good conference for that. I look forward to participating in it and to be an active participant. So on behalf of ICOL, I am honored to be here to sponsor, to support the, this conference, and the, especially the Indian National Committee on Large Dams. We look forward to our international conference here next year in Delhi that will be very successful. And I wish you all success in your endeavors and peace in your lives. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Michael F. Rogers, President, International Commission of Large Dams, United States of America. And uh, rightly said, dams are the monuments of the modern world. And thank you for sharing your insightful uh, words on the challenges in dam safety management. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would request uh, Sri S. Masood Hussain, Chairman, Central Water Commission, to kindly present an overview of the trip. A very good morning to all of you, Honorable Minister of Water Resources and Housing and Urban Development, Government of Odisha, uh, Sri Ranjan Pujariji, Secretary Ministry of Water Resources, RD and GR, Sri Nikhi Singh, uh, Mrs. Rajeshwari, Addition Secretary of the Ministry of Water Resources, Dr. Michael Robbins, President of the International Commission on Large Dams. Mr. Junit Kamala, Country Director, World Bank in the office. Sri B.K. Jaina, Deputy Secretary, Water Sources Department, Government of Odisha. 
distinguished delegates, experts, dam safety professionals, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this conference as a co-host of this conference as the Chairman of the National Committee on Dam Safety and as Chairman of the Water Commission. Uh, we all know that India stands globally on the third position in terms of the number of large dams, having more than 5,200 dams and about 450 dams are under construction. However, the per capita storage in India is quite low as compared to some of the countries. It is in case of India, it is 2010 cubic meters per person per capita as compared to 6,100 for Russia, 4,700 for Australia, 3,100 for Brazil, 1,900 for USA, 1,400 for Spain, 1,100 for China and about some 750 about, uh, for South Africa. So this is really a big challenge to manage the ever-increasing demand of water for various uses, either for irrigation, or for drinking water, or for industrial, or for the ecological needs of the country. So conservation of water sources, thus is very important and it is inevitably linked to the storage of water sources in various forms. We all are aware that India cannot sustain drought, drought uh, beyond one monsoon season due to the low per capita storage and it faces acute stress if any one uh, year happens to be a drought year. There are some of the, those countries who have large storage per capita, they can sustain even for two years or three years or four years of drought, so because of the adequate reservoir storage. Planning and construction of new dams in India has its own problem. It takes a long number of years because of various well-known reasons. And increasingly, this has become more difficult in recent years. Thus, we are not able to keep the balance with the pace of population growth vis-a-vis -vis our water sources development and management. Therefore, ensuring robust health and safety, and as the country director of being said that safety, we are talking not in a very sense, uh, narrow sense, but in the overall sense of operation and management and safe uh, management of our dams is very, very important existing dam assets are to be managed in a very effective manner to ensure the water, food and energy security in the present area. We should focus on the restoration of the lost capacity due to cessation of our reservoirs, ensure effective operation and maintenance to further extend their life, mitigate associated risks and hazards with these assets in case of failure for safety of downstream people and property. The importance of dam safety was recognized early by the Central Water Commission and the Ministry of Water Resources when the dam safety unit was established in Central Water Commission in 1980, long back. A committee was uh, constituted uh, with CWC heading the, uh, that committee with various state governments and various dam owning agencies. In 1982, this culminated into the National Committee on Dam Safety. We had the 39th meeting of that committee yesterday, where more than about 40 to 45 members and from various state governments, as well as the dam owning agencies of the center and the state participated. And it was a very, very intense and fruitful discussion. So, after the committee was constituted in 1982, the issue of dam safety has been taken up very seriously. Various guidelines and manuals for the dam safety, they were prepared, circulated to all 
dam owners and dam owning agencies and state governments uh, for taking up the inspections and all procedures and protocol related to the dam safety. In order to give further boost to the dam safety mission, Ministry of Water Resources, Government of India initiated the dam safety assurance and rehabilitation project in 1991, which was implemented between 91 and 98 as a cost at a cost of US dollars 86 million with the assistance of World Bank. So this was the first project which was taken up. The four states that participated were Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Odisha. So Odisha has right from the very beginning has been the part of our dam safety programs and they have very actively and uh, very fruitfully contributed to the dam safety mission in the country. Most remarkable achievement of that project was the initiation of the telemetry system in Chambal and Mahandani River Basin by CWC in addition to rehabilitation of about 13 dams. Based on this, the success of this dam safety program, this dam rehabilitation and improvement project was initiated in year 2012, originally a six year project at a cost of rupees. 2,100 proof, which is equivalent to US 439 million dollars, having a provision of rehabilitation of selected 223 dams located in seven states with an objective to improve safety and operational performance of these dams with system-wide improvement in their operation and management. Now this project has been extended by two years with a scheduled closure in June. 2020 with the revised cost of rupees 3,466 crores. The project covers the rehabilitation of dams and associated appurtenances, structures, dam safety, institutional strengthening and project management. In addition to physical rehabilitation of dams, another important activity is the publication of relevant technical regulations and guidelines and manual. This is a very, very important thing. Uh, because these are the tools which enable us to implement the various procedures and protocols related to the dam safety. Uh, preparation of emergency action plans for each dam, for each dam which is coming into the project. Operation and maintenance manuals for each dam, which is really very, very important because during the recent Canada floods, we, uh, the dam owning agencies received criticism that these protocols were not there in place. So we hope with the preparation of these manuals and protocols, we will be able to enhance the capacity of our dam owners to effectively manage their infrastructure of dams. Various leading international experts have been associated for framing of these guidelines and manuals so far. CWC has published eight documents and three more are going to be released today. The project also covers the capacity building of nine academic institutions because India is a vast country. A large number of dam safety professionals are there but they, they need to be properly trained. So the nine academic institutions like IITs are involved along with two central agencies, Central Soil and Material Station and CWPRS in dam safety area with a long term objective to generate adequate trained manpower in the country to operate and maintain our existing dam. This is very important. Then another important thing is the seismic hazard assessment mapping of the whole country is under progress to enhance the seismic preparedness of the country. Uh, this system is a web-based tool with GIS platform will assist all professionals working in the field of water resources sector to quickly generate seismic design parameters for preliminary uh, planning and designing of these dams. This is very important. Uh, the, the design of dams in respect of the seismic aspect is a very, very critical and important area which we need to give more attention. Also, the dam health and rehabilitation monitoring application known as THARMA has been already been prepared a web-based tool 
which was launched during the last conference. CWC has conducted 27 training programs over a period of two years for all the stakeholders for educating in this regard. This tool has been prepared to suit the objectives of various working levels that is central and state administrators, project engineers and dam managers and to provide training in various relevant aspects uh, managing the ongoing drip activities, CWC has organized about 83 number of national trainings, 5 international trainings, 8 overseas exposure visits and have trained about 3,000 officials and professionals during this project to meet the diverse needs of the partner agencies. This component brought together engineers, geologists, academicians, scientists on a city platform. And we have partnered with uh, these activities with various renowned global institutions, U.S. Bureau, Bureau of Reclamation, USBR, Delta Rest of the Netherlands, and Tura, Australia, and Japan Water Agencies for knowledge and technology exchange. So, I mean, this, is, this was just a brief outline of what has been done and what we are going uh, to do in this program to achieve the overall uh, mis uh, objectives of the dam safety mission. While concluding with these words, I hope the coming two days of deliberation during this conference would be very fruitful and uh, would provide actionable points for better dam safety practices and management. This would further strengthen us to face any dam safety challenge with more confidence in the coming future. I wish this conference a great success. Thank you. Jai Thank you, uh, Sri S. Masood Hussain, Chairman Central Water Commission, on enlightening us uh, more about DRIP, the Dam uh, Rehabilitation and Improvement Project. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the inaugural program is being presided over by Sri U.P. Singh, Secretary, Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, Government of India. And in these words, I would now request uh, Sri U.P. Singh to kindly present the presidential address. Minister for Water Resources, Government of Odessa, Mr. Masoom Hussain, my colleague Sadiq Jena, our India representative of World Bank, <coughs> Mr. Junaid Kamal Ahmad, Michael Rogers, President of High Court, my colleague in the Ministry, Rajeshwari, and friends. I have now prepared a speech. I have not brought a cheat code like Mr. <coughs> Junaid Kamal Ahmad. I will not speak much on that because already Mr. Masood has has told a lot of things, and during the course you will also hear a lot of things. Coming to Hurnesha, coming to Orissa is always a homecoming. It's. Uh, brings back lots of memories, it, it, it evokes a different kind of feeling. Though I do not belong to this state, I was not born in this state, but uh, I was allotted with Odisha Kader. I spent uh, more than 20 years in this beautiful state. I have lots of fond memories of this place. Both my sons were born when I was in Odisha. So, though even though I haven't been able to come to Odisha very often in the same past, it's uh, really a happy occasion for me. Frankly speaking, I do not know how many of you, of course these days people know a lot, of, uh, lot about Odisha. I remember in 1985, when I was allotted Odisha Kader, I did not know whether I should be happy, I should be unhappy because the Odisha at that point of time was not evoking uh, uh, much of a feeling actually. When you talk to Bhuvneshwar, people must be thinking it's a small place, must be kind of a dry, dingy kind of a place. And then all of a sudden you come here and you find a, a small but beautiful, green, clean city. Then, then people say, oh, this is, this is what Bhuvneshwar is. But Odisha is not all Bhuvneshwar. 
Of course, if you want to see Orissa, it will take you a, maybe a 10 days or 15 days or something. I am sure none of you have that kind of a time. So maybe a uh, part of Orissa you will see through its cultural programs. But uh, I would urge, uh, being uh, Orissa being my, not a junk bhumi but a bhumi, I would uh, urge all of you to spend a couple of days, those who have come from outside, especially those who have come out from outside the country because you may not get another opportunity to come to Orissa. Spend a couple of days. At least the least you could see is maybe a, a, apart from the temple time, town of Bhubaneswar, which has, I do not know, uh, thousands of temples. And to, to, to Puri or a Konar or Chilka, this is the least perhaps you could do. I am sure those of you who are going to uh, Sambalpur will see much more of Orissa. So do spend some time exploring this uh, uh, beautiful, uh, culturally perhaps the uh, richest uh, uh, state in India. Uh, friends, uh, I won't, as I said, I won't be speaking much about the trip, but a couple of words. When India became independent, we all know what was the major uh, task before the administrators or the political leaders. It was basically to feed millions of Indians. Perhaps there is no other country who can feed really the, the, the Indians because we are such a large number. Those were the days where PL 480 or something used to be when we used to import food grains actually. And so the first task was basically to take up what someone just told. And uh, when, when Bakara, Bakara's foundation stone was being laid by Jawaharlal Nehru, he said about that uh, temples of modern India. So we embarked upon, we built large number of dams, you read more than 5,200 dams, large dams, that is not the total number of dams, that's the basically large dams, the third highest in the world. But those were the days, these days perhaps you can't build uh, that many dams, the, the hate age of dams construction in India perhaps I would say is over, we would keep building dams but not uh, in the numbers and the kind of dams will be built in uh, early after getting independence. And since we, our most of the dams we are built up to 80s and all, the fact remains that most of our dams are more than 20, most, most of our large dams are more than 20-25 years old. And as uh, uh, Junayal Ahmad was saying, generally we have a problem with the water sector infrastructure if you build the structure, you do not operate and maintain well. And then a situation comes and they, there is a need to rebuild that infrastructure actually. So, so, so many of our dams today are, are in the need of certain kind of a, a, a rehabilitation. And as had been pointed out earlier and so and now in the present trip, a fairly good number, not very large number of dams are being rehabilitated. But I would say that project like DRIP is not so much important from the point of view of physical rehabilitation of dams. But the other, other benefits of these kind of schemes are brings in. The mention was made of all kinds of guidelines, all kinds of uh, uh, manuals which has been created, all kinds of software like Dharma to know the health of a dam which has been created, the emergency action plans which are being prepared. All those things are perhaps more important than the, just the physical rehabilitation of the dams actually. In times to come, when we all know how uh, climate change is having its impact all over, in India also it is pronounced. The total, the maybe amount of rainfall which occurs, anyway you know that India has a pronounced monsoon season, most of the rainfall used to take place only in 3-4 months. And there has been a problem of a special and temporal variation of rainfall uh, in India. But in recent times, because of the climate change, the things have become even uh, more difficult actually. In times to come, the extreme events like flood and drought will increase not only in their uh, frequency but in amplitude as well. So even dams operations or the building of new dams has to be slightly different because it has to take into account uh, the climate change, which is uh, the, the, the factors relating to climate change actually. So I am sure that uh, work, uh, today and tomorrow a lot of uh, discussions will take place on different aspects of uh, dam safety and I am happy that our dam safety culture is uh, being, uh, is, is developing in India.
we are also we will be discussing later we are also bringing in fact we have already introduced our dam safety bill in the parliament which will provide a kind of a legal proper legal and institutional framework to uh, issues related to dam safety in india so uh, i <clears throat> so i am sure that the deliberations over next two days would uh, help us in bringing uh, a, a better dam uh, safety dam operations and bringing a better culture for uh, uh, dam safety in india i am sure uh, you will have a excellent weather is very good even if those of us who have come from delhi are feeling a, a sigh of relief having a lovely weather here in a lovely city so let's uh, work hard for two days and also enjoy hard in the evenings as well as uh, 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 after uh, uh, those of you who are staying back tomorrow onwards unfortunately i will have to go back uh, tomorrow evening but uh, i would urge all of, all of you to stay back for a day or two and enjoy this beautiful city in beautiful state thank you very much thank you ashi you missing secretary ministry of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation government of india for your very warm and welcoming words especially uh, towards your karun bhumi the soul of incredible india orissa and also the insight into uh, dam uh, dam safety ladies and gentlemen uh, technical regulations is uh, one of the important pillars of dam safety management in this endeavor central water commission is making constructive efforts to put in place relevant guidelines and manuals related to dam safety management in order to facilitate all the dam owners and dam safety professionals and we want to take this incredible opportunity to have the release of few of these publications ladies and gentlemen these uh, guidelines uh, we are releasing three guidelines guidelines for assessing and managing risks associated with dams guidelines on handbook for assessing and managing reservoir sedimentation inspection our third uh, guideline is the inspection manual for dam field engineers after seismic event methan dam damodar valley corporation and we are very uh, you know these guidelines have been prepared by pooling best of the global and national team of experts we are very honored that today we have the presence of some of these eminent uh, experts ladies and gentlemen the first guideline is prepared by dr ignacio escudar bueno professor polytechnic university of valencia and founding partner i presses and president spanpol spain and mr eric uh, c helpin president helpin consulting llc and former expert united states army corps of engineers the second publication is prepared by dr sanjay giri hydraulic expert del taras the netherlands the third publication is prepared by the experts of japan water agency japan which is also one of the dam owners and being funded by world bank as you all know japan is one of the most seismically active areas on the surface of the earth so sharing their technology through these documents will be of great value uh, we also had the release of uh, the emergency uh, action plans for all dams under trip we uh, released uh, from the kerala state electricity board the emergency action plan for seven dams and also the operations and uh, maintenance man manual for one of the dams we also released the tamil nadu generation and distribution company they released uh, the act emergency action plan of one of the dams and also one of the operations and uh, maintenance manual also odisha water resources department also released uh, one of the eap and onm manual damodar valley corporation also released one of the eap and onm manual karnataka water resources department also released six emergency uh, uh, action plans for six dams and uh, one operations and the maintenance manual for one dam and also tamil nadu water resources department released Uh, the emergency action plan for six uh, dam uh, three dams and one operations and uh, maintenance manual these operations and maintenance uh, manual will definitely help help 
the uh, dam owners to operate and maintain the dam systematically and efficiently. Uh, the, for the balance of the dams, the work is under progress uh, for the emergency action plan and operations and uh, maintenance manual. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now request uh, Sri Nirinjan Pujari, Minister for Water Resources, Government of Odisha, to kindly give the inaugural address, please. Respected President of the Conference, the UPC Secretary, Minister of Water Resources, River Development, and Ganga Rejuvenation Government of India. Respected Dr. Ikhai La Burger, President International Commission of Large Dam, USA. Mr. Junit Kamal Hassan, Country Director, World Bank, India Office. Respected Sri S. Masood Hussain, Chairman, Central Water Commission. Respected Principal Secretary, Sri P. K. Jena, my Secretary. And respected Srimati T. Rajeshwari, Additional Secretary, Government of India. Good morning to all. Before I am dignitary present here, I am happy that my department is hosting along with the World Bank and CWC this conference today. Indeed, a proud moment for all of us to be here in the inaugural season of such a great academic event of International Family Safety Conference 2019. It is a proud moment for the Department of Water Resources Odisha as well in organizing this prestigious mega event along with Central Water Commission, New Delhi and World Bank jointly in our state capital, Bhubaneswar. A city known for its rich culture. I, as Minister of Water Resources, have the privilege to welcome you to this prestigious event. Ladies and gentlemen, as well as <coughs> we all know that water is the essential lifeline resource for the development. The biggest challenge before us is the water crisis, which is augmenting due to sharp climate changes. Of course, the dam plays a crucial role for ensuring water management in sustainable manner and major multipurpose dam projects have proved to be the backbone of all around development of making serving means by providing irrigation, flood control, green power generation, pisciculture as well as drinking and industrial water supply, tourism and decreasing. Looking to the increasing vast population of our country, food production is very important. Under the effect of climate change, the Iraqi monsoon rainfall has badly affected the rain fed agriculture. So presently, irrigated agriculture has an important role in providing food security for which assured irrigation from the year of is inevitable. Looking to the benefits of the dam, it is our prime duty to look into the dam safety aspect, not only for their sustainability, but also for the safety of people and their property living on downstream of South Dam. Many dams are now aging with very degree of deficiency, thus posing a potential threat to life, property and the environment. Our state has 10 major irrigation project dams, 55 medium irrigation project dams and more than 1,000 minor irrigation project dams catering their intended purpose. Out of these dams, 204 are large dams as part ICO and the classification. A dam is considered to be safe 
if the rigs are under control, this can only be achieved through proper surveillance and timely fixing problem with modern tools and exercise. My department has a dedicated dam safety organization headed by a chief engineer to monitor and assure the safety of these large dams. I can say with conviction, ladies and gentlemen, the ongoing dam rehabilitation and improvement project, DRIP, is a nice effort in that direction. DREAM has been engaged in bringing in greater awareness, finding appropriate solution to address safety aspect by pulling the best technologies, knowledge and experience around the world. I am glad to note that in the next two days, more than 750 dam professional, academician, and scientists from India and abroad will deliberate on the problems related to the dam safety, share the technology, and discuss what should be the best practice for the dam safety. I take this opportunity to urge all of you to actively participate in the conference and come up with the practical idea that will serve a stepping stone to achieve the vision of same aim for same future. It is noteworthy that nowadays we cannot build new dams, new large dams, because of rehabilitation problem, agitation and other things, eviction. So let us take oath to save the existing dam, since it is impossible it is not possible to make large dam now, so we should take work to save the existing dam. I wish all success of this conference. I hope everybody will have a pleasant and memorable experience in Odisha. Thank you. I Thank you, uh, Sri Nirajan Prajari. Honorable Minister for Water Resources, the Government of Odisha, for enlightening us and under your able guidance, sir, the department is uh, progressing every day. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would request Srimati T. Rajeshwari, Additional Secretary, Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, Government of India, to kindly propose a vote of thanks. Resources, Government of Odisha, Sri Nirantan Kudariji, uh, Secretary, Ministry of Water Resources, River Development, Ganga Rajeshwari, UP Singh Ji, Chairman CWC, Sri Masood Hussain Saab, President I Court, Dr. Michael Rogers, Country Director of Bank India, Dr. Junaid Kamal Ahmed, and Principal Secretary, uh, Water Resources, Government of Odisha, Sri PK Janaji. Delegates, Experts, professionals, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a, uh, it's a great honor and also it gives me immense pleasure today to propose a vote of thanks to this August gathering assembled here to discuss different issues on dam safety. Dam safety is one of the very important aspects of for the country for a country like India for water security and safeguarding human life and property and uh, downstream of that. We are overwhelmed by the support received for this International Dam Safety Conference from policy makers, eminent dam professionals, the academia, industry, from within India and around the world. I take this opportunity to thank all the delegates who have come from far and near to participate in the conference and freely share their knowledge and experience to address the dam safety concerns and find suitable solutions. Several organizations and individuals have made significant contributions to make this conference a great success. I thank all of them wholeheartedly for the support. We are extremely grateful to the government of Odisha for coming forward to host this conference uh, in this beautiful city of Bhuvaneshwar and extending all the support. My sincere thanks to the Honorable Chief Minister of Odisha, Sri Navin Patnaikji, who supported the conference right from the beginning. I thank the Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Government of Odisha, 
Shri Nirendra Pujari Ji for his unqualified support and inauguration in the conference. Sir, your words of wisdom have been put forth for deliberations to follow. We received full support right from the beginning for organizing the conference from our Union Minister of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation and Road Transport, Highways and Shipping, Shri Nitin Jairam Gadkari Ji and for Union Minister of State for Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, Shri Arun, uh, Arjun Ram Meghwal Ji. They could not be present in this inaugural program due to the parliament session, ongoing parliament session, but I agreed to present during the valedictory program to get the feedback on the conference. Thank you, sir, for your unstinted support and encouragement. This conference has assumed international stature with the presence of eminent international experts on dam safety. To name it, of course, I've already mentioned the Dr. Michael Rogers, President I Court, Dr. Michael D. Vivo, Secretary General I Court, Mr. Satoru Ruda, Lead Dam Specialist, World Bank, Washington, USA, Mr. Michael Nanning, Practice Manager, World Bank, USA, Mr. Junaid Kamal Ahmed, Country Director, World Bank, India Office, Dr. Ignacio Escudar, you know, Professor, Polytechnic University of Valencia, and President Stanford, Ms. Tammy Chu, Managing Director in Intura, Australia, and several other international experts whose names I have not mentioned here, uh, and have agreed to a request to be present for the conference to share the rich experience and expertise with delegates. There is no doubt that delegates will be, they will be immensely benefited by the wisdom. Thank you, Madam and Sir, for accepting our invitation and being here with us. I would also thank our Secretary, Sri Yuk Singh Ji, Sri Masood Hussain Ji, Chairman CWC, and Sri PK Jainaji, Principal Secretary, Odisha Ministry of Water Resources, Government of Odisha, who have provided the unstinted support right from the beginning and have mobilized their teams in the respective organizations and departments for successful organization and conduct of the conference. I sincerely thank each one of you, sirs, for all your efforts and support. About 70 international experts from over 30 countries are participating in this conference and are keen to share their rich experience with the delegates. I thank all of them for coming over and contributing towards making the conference uh, success and truly international. Several organizations from within and outside the country have shown keen interest to showcase state-of-art technology in different areas related to dam safety and have come over here to exhibit and disseminate information. While thanking them for their efforts, I request all the delegates to visit the exhibition and take advantage of their presence. A number of organizations from within the country and abroad have volunteered to sponsor several events and items for this conference as a gesture of their involvement with Dam Safety Initiative. I take this opportunity to express our sincere thanks to these organizations for their contribution. The success of any event of this magnitude and stature depends upon the quality of technical papers and active participation of the delegates. We have received over 140 technical papers. I thank the authors of all the technical papers for their effort and contribution and delegates for their participation. Due to time constraints, we could not accommodate all the papers for oral presentation, even though these were of excellent quality. However, we have included all, all the papers in the CD distributed to the delegates. Proper awareness on issues relating to dam safety requires publicity in the current pers current pers perspective for overall benefit of the society. I take this opportunity to thank the media and press personnel for their presence and coverage. When an event of this magnitude takes several months of planning. In this regard, organizations like CWC, Water Resource Department, Government of Odisha, World Bank and their dedicated teams have put in tremendous effort to make this conference a great success. I thank each one of them personally for their untiring efforts. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for extending the thank you note. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have received an overwhelming response, uh, not only from within the country, but also abroad, uh, brought about our conference. And we have over 35 reputed organizations which are exhibiting their technology, products, and services in the exhibition hall today. Uh, 
with this, I request our uh, request Sri Niranjan Pujari, Minister for Water Resources, Government of Odisha and all our other dignitaries uh, to kindly visit the exhibition hall, inaugurate uh, the exhibition and after this um, kindly join us for the press conference. And uh, with this, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude the inaugural program uh, for the International Dam Safety Conference 2019, uh, which is being organized by Ministry of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, Government of India, in collaboration with Water Resources Department, Government of Odisha, and World Bank under the ages of Dam Rehabilitation and Improvement Project. We thank all of you for your very valuable presence. We would uh, uh, invite all of you to join us for high tea now and do also visit the exhibition hall where more than 35 uh, companies are exhibiting their technology, product and services. Do join us back uh, at uh, 11.45 for uh, the plenary session. So I request all of you to kindly uh, move to the exhibition hall, enjoy the tea and join us back for the plenary session starting at 11.45. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dignitri. Kindly uh, join us. And uh, we invite all of you to kindly join us for the inauguration of the exhibition. Thank you.